just an update on the um, top bar beehive I've made out of half a blue barrel. Um, I've done, cut all of the top bars. I've also cut the follower board, um, which you can see there. And um, I've also in the bottom here, I've cut um, two holes and I've put this um, 1 8 inch mesh in there which I've attached by going through with screws and then I've got two battens underneath um, hopefully you can see that two battens underneath which uh, hold the mesh in place um, I've rubbed the inside of this with beeswax I've also got a little um, Ziploc bag with some paper towel in there and some drops of uh, lemon grass essential oil uh, which is supposed to mimic the uh, pheromone uh, that the queen bee gives off um, and it acts as a swarm lure and I'm just putting this all back together now um, so that I can um, hopefully try and catch a swarm um, attract a swarm on the underside of these I've got some wax string so just normal old twine which I've um, dipped in melted wax stapled twice at each end so stapled once then folded over and stapled again on one end stapled in the middle and stretched and stapled at the other end um, so that's for, uh, a comb guide for them um, and then I've also got the lid which I'll just put this back together and I'll show you So I've set this up so that it's reasonably tight fitting um, to stop the bars warping. I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. Need two hands to put this back together. So sorry about that. So um, that's all that back together and then I've got this lid which is um, made out of plywood. Um, with some tin on top, the same tin that I use on the chicken tractors, which is an old, um, the sides of an old swimming pool that were left here when the people I bought the house moved out and left it behind. Now I've got some small um, angle trim, which is actually used normally for um, the corners of plasterboard in houses, uh, but that worked quite nicely on the edges. Um, and I've also painted it all with an acrylic paint. Um, so that's it and hopefully, um, hopefully I'll be able to catch a swarm in this one. The other uh, beehive that I was making in one of my other videos um, is also nearly finished and I will um, try to uh, make a video of that as soon as I've got it set up ready for a swarm. So uh, I'm about to go and place this near some flowers in my yard which seem to attract a lot of bees and I'm hoping that there will be a swarm around and uh, hopefully the next update will be showing you a swarm moved into this top bar beehive.